Hello, welcome to Engineering Made Easy. I am Lalit Vasist. This video is about frequency translation. Here we will understand what we mean by frequency translation. It is also known as frequency mixing, frequency conversion and also heterodyning. So what is uh, frequency translation and why we need this? What is the benefit of translating a frequency from one band of frequency to another band. So in communication systems it is generally required to translate a modulated signal from a frequency to a new band of frequency before its demodulation. First of all the frequency of the modulated signal is translated from that frequency to a new band of frequency and then it is processed because it becomes easier to process that uh, modulated signal like uh, processings like uh, amplification filtering and then it is demodulated after that so it is generally required to translate or shift the modulated signal to a new band of frequency in the processing of signals in the communication system now this received signal is translated to a fixed intermediate frequency. This intermediate frequency in short is written as IF intermediate frequency and this now can be easily amplified, filtered and demodulated. Demodulated means detected. So this is the benefit. So now let's understand the purpose of this super heterodyning that is the frequency translation or frequency mixing with the help of uh, a practical example where it is used and why it is used what is the benefit for example in most commercial am radio receivers the received radio frequency the rf signal is of uh, 560 to 1640 kilohertz okay but this is now shifted to an intermediate frequency if frequency of 455 455 kilohertz it is shifted to this fixed frequency intermediate frequency uh, band for the purpose of processing as i told you that uh, processing of signals like uh, filtering and uh, uh, amplification and then demodulation becomes easy when we shift this to a fixed intermediate frequency so here we use a frequency in uh, uh, commercial am radio stations that this intermediate fixed frequency is 455 kilohertz now after this shifting, after this translation of frequency or conversion of frequency to this uh, intermediate frequency, it all, all these uh, processings on the signal are performed. So it becomes easier to process a signal at this fixed frequency. The device that we use uh, to perform this operation of uh, frequency mixing or frequency translation is known as uh, frequency mixer this is the name of the device the frequency mixer and the, this process is known as frequency conversion frequency mixing and also heterodyning so keep the keep in mind that all these names are same uh, and they mean the same thing okay so we can say that uh, frequency mixing is nothing but just to shift a signal before demodulation to shift a modulated signal before demodulation to another frequency band so that it can easily be amplified filtered or demodulated after these processings because uh, it becomes easier to perform these operations on a fixed frequency that's why it is done so hope you got this concept in the next videos we will see another uh, topics of uh, communication process and modulation processes you can also check my other videos of my channel engineering made easy visit my channel and uh, if you liked my video you can uh, subscribe my channel and uh, click on the like button and don't forget to share it thanks for watching have a nice day bye bye friends for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made easy easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can visit my blog see you soon in the next video till then bye bye